23 into 12. Now very simple, anyone can do this orally also, but my purpose is not to solve this uh, answer, uh, you know, to get this answer correctly, but to tell you the method. So I'm taking a simple example. You can obviously generalize it to solve a little bit of complicated examples also. Now see, traditional method you all know. Now the first method for multiplying these, these two uh, numbers, 23 and 12, is to use the distributive property. Now, using the distributive property, if you take 23 as it is, and check this number 12, which is close to the round figure 10, and write it as 10 plus 2, then multiplying 23 by 10 and 23 by 2 will be very easy. So this will be 230 plus 23 to 2 is 46, which will give you the answer 276. Whatever steps I'm writing on the board, these steps are actually all oral steps. So don't uh, have the fallacy in your mind that I'm writing so many steps to uh, multiply and uh, traditional method will consume less time. No, these are all mental math steps. These are written on the board just to demonstrate or illustrate the method and they don't have to be written like this when you have to multiply numbers. This is just for demonstration. Now, this distributive property can be used otherwise also. Like you have multiplied 23 by 2. So if you don't know the table of 23, then 23 into 2 obviously will be a little difficult. And if this number is 17, then 10 plus 7, 23 into 7 again requires the traditional method. So what you can do in this case is the smaller number can be retained as it is. Like 12 is the smaller number here. So you can retain 12 as it is. And just check 23, which is the base quantity around which 23 lies. It lies around 20. So you can write it as 20 plus 3. So now you can multiply 12 by uh, 2 that is 24 and put a 0 because 0 is here and 12 by 3 which is 36 thereby giving you the answer 276 again. This seems to be a little bit easier as compared to the previous one where you have to multiply by 23. So be careful in choosing which number to retain as it is and which number is to be broken in terms of the base quantity. Now this is the distributive property which you can use to multiply numbers. Another method for calculating this product can be the Vedic method. And the Vedic method obviously I have dealt with in many videos. So a two digit number 23 and a two digit number 12. So when you have two digit numbers, you just need to have three steps like this. The first step will multiply these two numbers. So three into two is six, no carries. If there is a carry number, then you have to remember that carry and carry it forward in the next step. Second step, cross multiply and add. So this is 4 and 3, 7. No carries again. And final step, 2 into 1, 2. So here you have the answer 276 directly. So obviously, Vedic mathematics has given us so many methods. And the, all these methods are really very quick, but need a lot of practice. So if you are studying Vedic mathematics, then you need to put in lots of practice hours so that you can uh, be sure that whatever answer you are getting in one step, is correct because otherwise you know following traditional method for a long period of time uh, will be a better option if you are not practicing these methods let's have a fun method this is a chinese uh, or, i'm sorry japanese method of uh, multiplying small numbers not big large numbers you can using lines how do you use lines to multiply numbers now 23 into 12 again now what i'm doing here is i'll be representing 23 the first number so 2 is the first digit, 3 is the second digit. So 23 by 2, drawing two lines like this, this is 2 and this is 3. So this is 23 and the second number is 12. So 12 means 1 and 2. So I'll draw one line like this and two lines like this. Now you see we have the entire figure separated into three parts. Count the number of points of intersection of two lines here. So these are six points. So this is six. Count the number of points of intersection here. This is one, two, three, four. And underneath this, you have here also. So one, two, and three. So add four plus three, seven. And here you have one, two. So two. And can you see? We have obtained the answer here, 276. So 23 into 12 is 270. Now see friends, 1, 2, 3 and 4, 4 different ways in which you can actually find the product. Be resourceful in multiplication because it helps you a lot in competitive exams because when you are resourceful, 
one or the other method you know will apply in a particular calculation and in competitions the paper setters are not checking your you know uh, the number of questions uh, you can attempt in one hour they are checking whether you are aware of these methods or not so they'll give you questions in which such things apply directly so let's take one more example of uh, this kind so here we have the second example i'm again going to use all the three or four methods which i have told you see 42 into 33 now let's see how you can use the distributive property in getting to the answer now in the first part what i'll do is i'll retain this 42 and i'll split this 33 into two parts that is it is very close to 30 so this becomes 30 plus 3 now 42 into 3 you can do it orally 3 to the 6 and 4 3 the 12 and put a 0 then again 3 c 126 so you can add very easily now 6 8 3 1 so 1 3 8 6 is the product or you can do it otherwise just like i told you in the previous example see 33 can be retained as it is and 42 can be broken down into 40 plus 2. Now again, you multiply this, 4 is are 12, 2 and 1 carry, so 13, and put a 0, then 66. So here you have the same answer, 1, 3, 8, 6. This is the distributive property. Now we use the Vedic method, very, very simple, and I prefer this method in all my calculations, which I do in whatever work I am doing. See, 42 into 33, so the first step, Multiply these two, 3 to the 6, no carries. Second step, cross multiply and add. So 12 plus, eight, uh, 12 plus 6 is 18, 8. Now I have to remember this 1 carry. And final step, multiply these two, 4 to the 12 and add the 1 carry, 13, 1, 3, 8, 6 is the answer which I got through the previous method. So again, Vedic method, uh, method proves to be the best method because it involves least amount of time consumption. And what about the Japanese method using lines? Now you can do it. It's a fun uh, method. Students will feel uh, really good when you tell them these kind of methods in the classroom or at home. So let's see 42 and 33. So 42 means four lines and two lines 42. So this is 4, 2. And now 33. 33 means three lines here. And again here. So I represented them by lines. Now count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 points of intersection. Count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 here. And under this, you have to add here also. So 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So remember that 18. And now count here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now what do we do here? Again, the carry forward system is to be initiated. See here we have a single digit 6. So 6 will come here. 18 will have 8 here. And this 1 will get carried forward to the next step. So 12 plus 1, 13. Again, the same answer, 1, 3, 8, 6.